Você sabe como é que passa um esfregão no chão Pelo amor de Deus, você chama isso de limpa Cala a boca, gato estúpido Viu só? Tá limpo All right. Hey. Bom dia, Senpai. Bom dia, Kasumi. Todos os dias têm sido tão quentes. A minha garrafa de água fica vazia tão rápido. Falando nisso, as férias de verão estão chegando. Você tem planos para fazer nela, Senpai? Um, eu não. Enquanto você. Hum, eu vou só passar ela treinando ginástica com a equipe. E sempre que eu tiver um tempo livre, eu vou treinar sozinha. Ah, mas se você quiser, você pode se juntar a mim, Senpai. Sempre que você quiser, eu vou estar livre. Ai, ah, tem treino hoje também, então é melhor eu ir. Vai lá, Kasumi. A gente vai pegar o mesmo treino, todo ano mesmo. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Vai ser só uma notificação no Twitter. Eu sou bem popular lá. Tem muitos memes. Arroba hey, Tails. Uh, it's just Ryuji. É, não consegui nada ainda, Ryuji Eu sinto muito, eu te aviso quando eu conseguir mais informação Ou melhor, me siga no Twitter que eu te digo Quando eu vou conseguir Arroba hey Tales, para muitos memes E horários de olhos de macaco E tudo mais Ryuji again He just never shuts up, does he? Bom dia Ah, você não é o Ryuji ah, você respondeu hoje. Mais uma vez, eu sou Alibaba. Você é o líder dos Phantom Thieves, correto? Não adianta mais esconder o jogo. Ele sabe de tudo já. Hum, agradeço sua honestidade. Imagino que tenha recebido o calling card. Você está na escola agora? Sim, eu estou no meio da aula da minha professora. Você é um estudante exemplar. Hum. Bom, mas eu preparei o calling card pra você. Quando que você vai roubar o coração, afinal? Wait, what? É assim que ele acha que funciona? Como assim você quer saber de quem roubar? Você não pode roubar o coração de alguém só por ter o calling card? Ah, eu preciso do nome, cara. Um nome? O seu roubo de coração é mesmo impossível se você não tiver esse tipo de informação? Pois é, eu sou tipo o Kira, sabe, Death Note? Entendo. Hum, suponho que os outros calling cards que você já enviou tinham nomes escritos nele também. Um momento. Muito bem, eu te conto qual é. Acredito que o seu nome seja Futaba Sakura. Se você falhar nessa missão, eu irei expor sua identidade para o mundo e para a polícia. Não é como se a polícia não fizesse parte do mundo. Bem, estou contando com você. Nos falaremos quando a mudança de coração for feita. Ah, uh, espera. Ai, meu Deus. Não vai dar para mandar mensagem para ele de novo. Droga! So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're 
we're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's Boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean... This might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. Mm. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Why do you know about that? got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. OK, já conseguimos alguma coisa. O Soldier tem algo por trás disso aparentemente. Oh, eu me lembrei. Jack, você conseguiu falar com o chefe sobre a Futaba Sakura? Ah, bom, eu tentei. Ele não queria falar. Será que tem algum motivo para ele não querer falar? Hum. Alibaba pode ser o nosso único jeito de derrotar Medjid. Eu acho que é o nosso único jeito. Eu queria conseguir mais algumas informações sobre essa futaba com o chefe. Mas se tentar forçá-lo a dizer, pode acabar dando um efeito oposto, não? Para ser honesto, eu estou devendo um grande favor ao chefe e ao Jack. Eu não sei se... Eu gostaria de usá-lo como uma fonte de informações. É, eu te entendo, cara. Provavelmente é melhor esperarmos o chefe levantar esse assunto de novo. É, boa sorte com isso. A boca daquele cara é um túmulo. e não fala nada comigo. Ó, oh, coisa tá... Tá indo pro caminho mais profundo do que eu pensava. E como eu disse no episódio anterior... Nós não teremos muito o que fazer aqui agora nessa semana, pois o Morgana vai ficar sentado sempre. Então, nós temos que fazer tudo aqui dentro do Leblanc. E eu acho que eu posso passar essa noite estudando, ou melhor, lendo um livro. E depois eu posso focar em melhorar minha Pro Efficiency, porque eu tô precisando. Eu posso tentar melhorar o meu Charme, eu não preciso melhorar o meu Charme agora, mas eu tenho toque e eu não quero deixar aquele livro pela metade sendo feito. Então, é, vamos melhorar nosso charme, né, desse Alluring Dancer e melhorando nossas habilidades de dança. Mas agora que eu tenho um tempinho pra falar com vocês, eu só quero dizer que se você está assistindo até agora e você ainda não sabe o que é que vai acontecer, se você não viu Persona 5 Vanilla, se você não sabe o que, é que vai acontecer daqui pra frente, meu amigo, você está para se aventurar. Você vai, você, você não vai se arrepender de ter assistido 60 episódios dessa série. Com o que vai acontecer nos próximos episódios. É uma das minhas partes favoritas. É uma das partes favoritas da maioria das pessoas. É uma das partes com as melhores trilhas sonoras de todas. Então, é. Apenas esteja ansioso. Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? 
That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. As férias de verão começam depois de amanhã. Mas não se esqueçam! Tem uma assembleia urgente na segunda. E nós estaremos contando com vocês. Tem um número estranho de incidentes acontecendo esse ano. E não é bom vocês fazerem parte deles. Entenderam? Então não vou pra nenhum lugar sombrio como Red Light District ou a praia durante a noite. Ah, eu quero ir pra praia... Eu quero pular na água gelada e tudo mais. Mano, você é um gato. Tá tudo errado em você. Parece que vamos não ter muita diversão nesse verão agora, né? Tá tudo errado em você. Tu não devia gostar de ir pra praia e pular na água gelada. O Yuji deve estar certo. Não temos pista alguma. Nós não podemos deixar isso acabar assim. Temos que ir para Yong e tentar conseguir alguma informação na vizinhança. É, vamos para lá então. E perguntar pra esse velho senhor que parece saber de muita coisa. Futaba! Futaba, hã? É, eu já ouvi esse nome. Eu conheço alguém com esse nome. Ah, ah sim. Era o nome da professora que eu tinha uma queda quando eu era do ensino fundamental. Ah, vamos perguntar pra essa pessoa. Tá bom, então. Ah, tem alguém aqui? Tem. Você, moça, você sabe de alguma coisa? O Sakura é solteiro, não? Eu não sabia que ele tinha alguma filha. Vamos perguntar pra outra pessoa. Tá bom. <risos> Droga, isso vai ser um back and forth uh, uh, louco agora. Opa, você? Eu conheço você. Futaba. Não, não. Eu nunca ouvi falar. Legal, muito obrigado. Quanto a você, cara. Futaba? Ah, vai saber. Falando nisso, você come muito. Ah, ah, eu, eu tô em fase de crescimento, cara. Ah. Então, se for só você e ele, vocês comem bastante para dois, não é? Espera, você tá dizendo que não come muito? Talvez seja o chefe, então, que coma bastante. Ah, tá bom. Ah, valeu pela informação, cara estranho. Por que tem tanto gato aqui? <risos> e aí, você, senhor? Futaba! Quem é essa? Eu não acho que eu já ouvi esse nome em algum lugar, mas... Será que essa Futaba não ficaria com raiva se soubesse que você está atrás dela? Hum, não sei. Ah, deixa eu ver por aqui. Oh, pode crer! O cara do correio, ele tem que saber sobre a Futaba. Futaba? Hum, não. Não conheço ninguém. Fuck! Eu venho pra casa do Sakura para entregar bastante coisa, mas eu nunca vi ninguém com esse nome por aqui. Até agora, nosso maior líder parece ser que o chief compra muito alimento. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Ok. Alguma coisa me disse que você só quer ir numa loja de comida ou no mercado para poder comer alguma coisa lá, mas pode esquecer, eu não vou comprar ração para tu. This place is close to Leblanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Sorry. Come again. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh well. Draga. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. <laughs> you're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. 
Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. That's enough! Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Eu não tentaria encontrar dizer o chefe, cara. Vamos ficar na nossa. Então, como é que foi? Vocês descobriram coisa da Futaba Sakura? Eu tô me perguntando a mesma coisa. Eu conto pra vocês esconderijo, tá legal, galera? Eu tenho um babado. Uau! Então, você descobriu alguma coisa? Bom trabalho. Eu sabia que podíamos contar com você. Jack Kuhn? Obrigada. Jack Kuhn? Ai, meu Deus, me chama disso de novo. <risos> <risos> ok Conseguimos, ou oh. Ou oh, quase Tiramos algumas informações do chefe nessa nossa bisbilhotada Quando chegamos no Leblanc Então, agora as coisas vão ficar mais claras para nós Daqui pra frente, eu espero Só temos que conversar com o pessoal e Ver qual vai ser o nosso próximo movimento Porém agora eu vou fazer quatro lockpicks Consegui mais pro e ficha porque eu quero parar isso o mais rápido possível Eu tô tentando manter um equilíbrio bacana nas coisas que eu tô upando e tudo mais Então, é, eu vou... Eu vou ficar grandinho e todo mundo vai gostar de mim porque eu vou ter todos os status Uhul A woman was threatening boss? Yeah, she was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff Oh What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Eu estudei com o Alicard, Alicard e disse o nome do alvo. Você já devia estar prontos. Por que não fizeram nada ainda? Eu disse que eu só vou ajudar se vocês roubarem o coração dela. Por que, é que vocês estão segurando? Eu também disse que iria denunciar suas necessidades para a polícia se vocês não me ajudassem. Vocês não se importam mesmo com isso? Que selfish person. Well, ele tem have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Ah, uh, I mean, nenhuma dessas duas opções são boas para quem não faz ideia do que eu tô falando. Ela tem um palace? Um palace? Por que, Por que você está falando, falando disso? disso? Isso, Isso não tem nada a ver com a nossa conversa. Você está tentando, tentando me confundir, confundir com essas palavras aleatórias? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Ok, eu... Preciso me encontrar com você. Se encontrar comigo... Isso vai ser um problema. Eu tenho motivos para não poder sair. É por isso que entrei em contato com você dessa forma. He can't go out? Espere, já entendi. Você rouba o coração das pessoas diretamente. Isso deve tornar as coisas mais complicadas. 
muito mais, mais complicadas. complicadas. Um, um momento. momento. Estou, Estou pensando. pensando. Ok. É uma, é uma pena, mas... Eu vou cancelar, cancelar o nosso acordo. acordo. Pare de ir atrás de Futaba, Futaba Sakura. Esqueça que, que isso aconteceu. Eu não irei te denunciar, denunciar para, para a polícia também. também. Não, não se preocupe. preocupe. Desculpe por tomar, tomar o seu tempo. tempo. Agora, eu estou, estou indo. Até mais. Ah, ué, espera! Eu disse, eu disse que, que acabou o nosso acordo. acordo. Nunca, Nunca mais iremos nos falar de novo. De novo. Não, não espere nenhuma outra, outra mensagem vindo de mim também. Mas não acabamos aqui ainda! Ah, oh, fuck, eu sabia que isso ia acontecer. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Hey, tudo dando certo. Certo até demais, eu acho. Será que toda aquela história de média foi só uma piada? Agora que estou pensando com mais calma, é estranho que eles não tenham feito nada ainda. É. Se seu objetivo era atacar os Fentotives, então eles já deveriam ter feito isso agora, na da nossa fama. Hum. Quando você coloca desse jeito, me faz pensar também. Especialmente depois que eles nos provocaram daquele jeito super teatral. Sim. Entretanto, eu diria que seria melhor para nós se tivéssemos uma maneira de contra-atacar quando isso acontecesse. Mas por hora, podemos apenas nos preocupar em aproveitar o sushi. É tudo o que podemos fazer. É, eu não vou preocupar ninguém então. Vamos só manter o clima bom ou calmo. Mas isso não tem graça, cara. É, o Yusuke está certo. Eu lamento levantar isso a esse... Logo agora, logo quando a gente vai celebrar a nossa festa de comemoração e tudo mais. Anime-se, Makoto. Nós vamos comer sushi como reis amanhã. Eu espero que uma pessoa em particular dê o seu melhor para se comportar. Eu não vou dizer quem é, claro. É bom você não tá falando de mim. De quem você acha que ele tá falando, Ryuji? Não é como se outra pessoa no grupo tivesse uma má conduta, mas... É. Bom... Agora, como eu disse, nós iríamos ficar muito tempo aqui no Leblanc. E é exatamente o que estamos fazendo. Nós estamos aqui ainda e eu vou aproveitar para fazer uma coisinha. Eu irei salvar o jogo, porque é uma das poucas vezes que eu faço isso aqui em câmera para vocês. A questão de salvar o jogo. E eu vou usar um exploit. Não é bem um exploit, mas vocês devem saber que se você fizer um lockpick ou qualquer outra ferramenta aqui para aumentar a sua Prime Fishes, você tem uma pequena chance, bem aleatoriamente, de conseguir... Uma ferramenta extra e um ponto a mais de Pro Fishes se você conseguir essa ferramenta extra. Se eu não conseguir, eu apenas vou dar soft reset no jogo e tentar de novo. Eu não consegui. Droga! 
Vamos lá, agora me dá essa ferramenta extra Esse ponto a mais de proficiency Vamos lá, Morgana, você consegue Conte comigo ah, Fuck Agora vai, eu tô sentindo que agora é minha vez de sorte Vamos lá Me dê um lockpick extra e Ahá Toma na sua cara, jogo Eu fiquei aqui algumas vezes sentando Três vezes, foi pouca coisa Mas assim a gente consegue um ponto extra de pro efficiency É, é um pouco chato, mas vale a pena Na minha opinião, ficar fazendo esse truque É meio fácil, é só reiniciar o jogo toda hora Ai meu Deus, Deus, minha imersão Cala a porra da sua boca You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No. Not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. É hora do sushi. Yay! Eu também queria um na vida real, mas é caro. Esse lugar fica em Ginza, não é? Ah, você vai pegar o mesmo trick que você pega em Shibuya? Eu não sei. Ah, eu não faço ideia. Mas eu posso dar uma aula de japonês pra vocês Se vocês quiserem um japonês super basicão Estão perdidos em, no Japão E querem perguntar onde fica tal estação No caso de Ginza Você fala Ginza Eikoua Dokodesuka Pra qualquer funcionário lá Man The flounder is out of this world hmm. That texture uh, I don't see any prices listed here. Better call market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. So good! Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk! By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. 
Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It Crap. Uh, um, f f fan fantastic This sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> it seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Mejet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. 
As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Well, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, 
Um, can I hold your hand? <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. in my house. Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. We... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This... Um... Uh, things... It happened, and... You kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> But one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. 
suicide. Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjid. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. 
Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Onde Morgana foi? Essa não! O gato que me impedia de sair se foi! E agora? O que eu vou fazer? Eu posso sair livremente para o resto da cidade! Eu posso esbarrar com Morgana se, se eu não estiver aqui. Droga! Eu deveria esperar até amanhã. F ah, maldito gato estúpido! Bom! Acho que não posso fazer nada sem ele. É, que ironia, não é? Eu sei. Bom! Nós agora temos um nome, uma pessoa e melhor ainda, nós sabemos quem ela é. Ela é a filha do Sojiro, Futaba Sakura. Temos a pessoa que nós precisamos de todo jeito ter ao nosso lado para poder derrubar Magid. Ela é a nossa chave para poder salvar o nome dos Phantom Thieves, limpar o nosso nome da sociedade e vencer mais um grande alvo, eu espero. Nós temos que mudar o coração de alguém ainda assim. Temos que descobrir isso melhor no próximo episódio, então... Eu espero ver vocês lá. Espero que estejam tão ansiosos quanto eu. Pra mim, é uma das minhas partes favoritas. Eu tenho dito isso bastante nos últimos episódios, mas... É verdade. Vocês vão gostar, eu juro. E yeah. é! Muito obrigado por assistir até aqui. Obrigado aos membros de Phantom Thief, Gaspiner, Panapop, Lorbinho Otaquinha, Jordana Garcia, Kagui Sonokaura, Konohenda, Pankekinha, Marcos... Marques0149 e Gustavo Adolfos. Obrigado por serem membros do Phantom Thief e obrigado a você por assistir até aqui. E é isso, pessoal. Eu vejo vocês no próximo episódio de Persona 5 Royal.